how the claw actually reaches to you. Okay. I think that one death in Iceman stage was um, costly. But so far, that was only one death. I think. Yeah, that was only one death. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to do um, try to do a deathless run. Try to get a deathless run and still get like a sub 25. I think that's a uh, a good goal. Get up there, Jesus, good lord. Hate navigating through this level. Try manipulating the robot. Doesn't work as planned. It takes about like 10 hits to kill that guy. I got a chance to go up there, but most likely I'll get hit. Okay. Just didn't want to work out that way. Come <laughs> on. 
Almost messed that up. Let's see if we get some power drops. Nope. Think I might want. Not sure. I'm not gonna damage boost through this. I want to have a good no good amount of health when I get to uh when I get to uh elect man. I only got two cutters left, so this should be enough if I want to get that double hit on that first cutter. Alright, good. Two cutters is all you really needed. Three cutters to just to be sure to kill him. This this stage is uh, I what I kind of hate the fact that it's uh, kind of the floor is kind of slippery so like I can't really stand still you're gonna see me toggle between Buster and and Rolling Cutter. For sections like this. See how every time I pick up like a weapon energy drop or a power energy drop, uh, Mega Man tends to just uh, freeze and it actually kills your movement. That is the fast way to get through that section. Yeah. That Ice Slasher takes a ton of damage. Uh, it's a it's a very easy boss, however, the projectiles, if you touch it, uh, takes a big chunk of damage. I think it's one of the more... Uh, I think that Robot Master takes more damage than the, all the other ones. Just like the Ice Man stage, uh, here how to be cautious. A lot of enemies that takes multiple hits to kill. The rolling cutter is like the best for those enemies. Oh. Okay, nice. The power energy drops have been have been a little generous in this run.
Oh, goodness. Alright, a new PB for the four Robot Masters. It's like a 10, 10 30 ish. So that's pretty good. Making good progress so far. Now for the more technical stages here, Wiley's 1 and 2. That was weird, dude. That <laughs> the head of me didn't want to open up. Thought about going to the cutter, but not yet. Pretty good use of the carry. Carries so are very useful for this stage. Nice. As you can see, it's not wise to just damage boost through this section. Even though it would be a good idea, uh, it just takes a lot. It took a lot of damage going through it. Almost touched the spikes there. Alright, the boss rush with four other robot masters. This Flashman here. Very easy. You guys stand on this teleporter exactly to leave the room. Uh, it does not teleport you out, out of there. And then you have to come to the screen all the time every time you get a new weapon upgrade. Firestorm is a good weapon to use against uh, Quick Man. His weakness actually the Time Stopper.
if you touch the boss, you get more. You you get more damage than than his uh, boomerang. I think it's bubble that deals more damage. For this next boss, you have to use the Buster uh, to defeat him. Uh, Semi easy. Just don't get hit by his projectiles. Give me, give me decent RNG.
All right, 23-19, got the sub-25 in a deathless run that I was looking for. I'm quite happy with that time, actually. Of course, uh, I, need, I need to uh, improve a little bit more to get a faster time, but I, I think I'm content with this one here. I'm, uh, I'm satisfied with this run. Damn. All that practice paid off, and finally got the gold that I'm looking for. Enjoy the credits, guys.